everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Carrie from Eclectic Wallet Studios. Today I'm going to be experimenting. I have two pretty large canvases. These are, I believe, 24 by 30 canvases. And I'm going to be using um, a, a dustpan and or shovel uh, to put some black and white paint down over top of this gradient. And I'm using just um, Amsterdam, I think it's oxide black, and uh, also uh, violet and some titanium white. And as you see, I'm just trying to put a background of gradient colors um, on the background of this piece. I don't have video of both of them. I just wanted to give you an overall view of both of them. The end result's a little bit different. Um, one we're going to walk through where I actually was trying to use some chrome pens that I had and it just was not adhering to the canvas the way I liked it to be. Um, I also then tried some uh, mirror foil and it also was not, no matter what I tried to do with the glue, was not adhering the way I wanted it to to the paint. Um, so I opted to, on one canvas, use some modeling paste and create some sort of like um, rounded texture that I know from experience really takes well to the chrome pens and or the, the foil. Um, and then my second canvas, I realized that I had some metallic chrome silver paint. <laughs> in the garage and thought, you know, maybe I'll just try it this way with uh, the, the spray paint. So you're going to see two different versions of the end all result. Um, and I'm going to let some music play here in the background. Um, and as you can see, the, I do both of these backgrounds the same. So they may be a little bit different in color with the purple. Um, and gray tones, but I pretty much try to keep it the same. So here's the first path. I apologize, something happened to the video, but as you see, I have layered some black and white paint onto the shovel head, and I'm going to drag that across the canvas. Now I do this on both canvases. Um, they turned out a little bit different on each one. Um, and I did have to go back and use some paint to um, fill in some areas that I wasn't very happy with. I think my paints were a little bit too thin for this and I needed to make it thicker. Um, and so that's a lesson learned. This is my first time ever trying to do this uh, type of um, paint. And as you see here, there was a lot of white that um, I don't know that I was overly happy with. But I think that I kind of fix that when we go back in with a chrome. So um, overall, I was pretty happy with how these turned out. So we'll go to the next step. Now that I'm going to let this dry, I'm, I have taped off areas. I just showed you the actual blue. Um, I had tried the chrome pens, and as you can see, they were not adhering to the paint really well. So I decided to tape off areas, and I had some mirror uh, foil. And so what we're going to do now is um, use the glue, and it's a 15-minute setting glue. And to the side, you can kind of see me already starting that. Um, and... I do that and then again you'll see that uh, it just was not working the way I wanted it to and so we'll show you what we do next with that. So now you see I have tried some of that foil and it just is not adhering the way I wanted to completely. It was completely breaking up so then I tried to go with some chrome paint from Freya, um, Viejo. That too was not giving me the satisfaction I wanted or full coverage, and it just was not 
adhering. So I had to come up with an idea that could cover all of that and maybe take on that chrome foil or paint later. So now I've decided to use some Pebeo uh, modeling plate paste, which is a lot thinner than um, most of the heavy ones. Um, and I am just using, I added some of that chrome paint to the modeling paste and I'm just using my palette knife to make uh, rounded circles, I decided. I used the same technique in a previous dragon drawing. Um, I kind of like the effect. I decided to do that here and that's what you see me doing. Um, for the second painting, um, I just completely did not realize that I had some chrome spray paint in the garage and thought, hmm, maybe I can try that for better coverage. So in the end, you're going to see two different techniques. I liked how they both turned out. Um, I think I like the spray painted one a little bit better, but you get two different uh, techniques and two different looks. Um, so from here on out, I will uh, let this go and um, play some music. And at the end, you'll see both paintings and how they turned out. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. You can also follow me on FaceTime, or Facebook I'm sorry, and Instagram under the same name, Eclectic Palette Studios. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for joining me. Have a great week. place